Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Diablo 3. I'm joined as always by my barbarian and our special guest. Hello, everybody. It's Buttercrust back with us, and we totally didn't already do this, and I forgot to record, but uh, I have new pants as a result of... Uh, you mean no pants? I have new pants. Well, I have no pants no right pants. now. I don't see any pants on. I see no pants. It's, uh, <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry to cover these up for you, but these are my new pants, and there they go. Now I now I'm covered, and I have a lot more health. Uh, that, what was the whole point of that? Were you trying to show off everyone your new pants? I was trying to show off my new pants in case they were trying to follow along as to what I was trying to do. So I have new pants, and and things are good. And uh, we need to go to Leoric's Manor. I think uh, that is close to where we were last time. It might be a little bit. Uh, a little bit no, earlier. No, not really. We were in his, uh, we were in his, like, hunting ground. Yeah, we were, like, just outside here. Unfortunately, we did do an entire session that did not get recorded because I am very, very stupid when I get tired. So, we, I, I didn't have the program open. I hit the button. I just didn't have it open to, to do anything. So we're gonna go through the, all, the the halls of agony. I turned monster power off because, like I said, we've uh, we've already done this. So we're just going to go through the end of Act One and probably just get up to the point where we were last time, uh, which was uh, after Magda. We had, we had just killed Magda, and it was pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, just felt like the Lord of Light would not betray me. Like, yeah, Belial will never betray her. No, he he's not like. The Lord of Lies or Lord anything like that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh it, it shouldn't be too bad one. though, because that one oh, monster. My mic quality just went down. My mic quality went down. Yeah, because that is the Skype quality. My Skype quality. Uh oh. In other words, it's getting shittier to make adjustments for the shittier internet. What's going on with my internet? I don't know, but you're clicking all over the place. I, I actually turned around to look at my TV because I'm like, is it going? It's going. <laughs> so it that that's. I mean, I mean, you're you're clipping, but it's okay. It's okay, I'm not judging. <laughs> uh, I'm judging at all. My robotic interior is starting to come through on the Skype call. Is what Buttercrust is telling me. Robotic. Okay. Interesting way of describing it. <laughs> Uh, that I'm a robot on the inside. I think. Yeah, I, I mean, think everybody's I aware say... of this. Okay. I, th <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody was. I already... guess I'm missing out on this loop here. <laughs> I guess I'm missing out on this loop here. Uh, well, you know, that's because I'm older than you. If if you were around when I was uh, when I was pre-made, you wouldn't you would know this already. Oh dear God. I've been healed. Oh shit! When I was constructed in the laboratory at the age of fifteen. We in the garage. <laughs> it it was sanitary at the time, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with laboratory, even though it was definitely a garage. There were test you tubes. Give you in... at the very least. <laughs> you know, like cholo ghetto hydraulics. <laughs> What, you think I was, like, bouncing in the garage? Yeah, man! <laughs> how you gonna, like... Okay, how you gonna, like, show up people who are dissing you? Uh-oh, killing thing, thing, things behind us. Oh. Um, oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um, but, like, how are you supposed to, like, defend your turf if you don't have hydraulics, man? <laughs> Haven't you seen the point dynamite? I have seen Napoleon Dynamite. That is a huge intimidation factor, the hydraulics. Look, my I mean, cog can I, bounce. I, I, and then it grinds I mean, whenever I go up a curb. I heard a lot of people really didn't like that movie because they felt that uh, Napoleon... Holy crap. Uh, that Napoleon had, like, autistic or Asperger's issues. And so they saw it as more sad than anything else. Bad. Yeah, they yeah, saw. Like, it. I'm 
They saw it as sad because they couldn't relate to each other because they had some kind of social disorder. And I was like, that's not really what's going on now. I mean, Kip and Lafonda got married. How did that not a happy ending? <laughs> did they get married? Oh, uh, sorry, they, they did. And he rode in on his, like, glorious stallion. <laughs> He's like, hey, we just finished taming this thing. <laughs> you can have it or whatever. I don't think that's how the movie ended. I swear to you. <laughs> I swear to you. I don't I will pull this right now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's at the end of the credits. At the end of the credits? I might not have seen after the credits. The movie was good. I mean, like... I enjoyed it, but like you can only watch it a couple times. Yeah, after that, it, it just gets old. It reminds me of one of my favorite movies. Uh, it's called Memento. You can only watch it once. After that, it, it's ruined for you. The ending ruins everything for you, but it's a really cool movie that first time you watch it. But like, is the movie a good movie to put times? To what? Isn't it a good movie to put to be timeless. It is, but it's so incredibly innovative that I loved it the first time I watched it, but then knowing the ending, it's hard to go back to like regular. It, it changes the character's motivations, the ending. Uh, so it's kind yeah. of hard to go back and go, yay, go character. <laughs> I get you. I get you. I kind of like my motivation whenever I play an open-ended game. Oh, uh, you're open... It never really makes sense. <laughs> that, whatever you feel like at the moment, that's what you do. Yeah. And I mean, most like, of the time that involves killing things. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah. But... But... But nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it. I mean, like, I was just playing this new DLC for Skyrim, and, um, you know, I'm going through this whole storyline, alright, and they're saying, like, you and this, like, main, insert main antagonist are alike because you share this quality, and I'm like, yeah, I get that, and he says, but what does that insert quality here mean for us? And it's just like, well, I mean, like, because of this insert quality i say you know the world back without dlcs <laughs> and he's like but it could bring about our like i guess our salvation or our destruction and he like revealed to me an evil option and i was like <gasps> <laughs> oh i can be evil always evil and we're good we're good well, i was really interrupted <laughs> i don't know what you're talking I, about I don't know what I was talking about. I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, you're talking about turning into a man bat. I have been oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, ah! good God. Okay. Um. Oh, laser. Yeah, arcane everywhere. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I kill things as a man bat. But, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting because you can, like, play the entire game as, like, being a vampire lord. It's like, it's kind of, like, they come up with their own talent trees for it. That's pretty cool. So you have, like, your hardening skin abilities and all that. Right. Nah, yeah. See, because, like, I guess as a mage, I didn't realize this. Like, if you go all the way to alteration, you pretty much don't have to wear heavy armor. But, like, I was too busy leveling destruction that I didn't have time to put like So I said I just put on heavy armor. <laughs> and I was just like, I'll just enchant myself. Heavy and then armor. like I'll get the things like fall. Yeah, heavy armor. And then as I'm doing that, I'm finding myself becoming more like a warrior because I'm getting like warrior set. It's now like um wearing heavy armor and people are hitting me and I'm getting bonus in the heavy armor. Right. <sighs> Is it just me, or are we getting better stuff this run in terms of drops than we were when we had monster level one on? I don't even know. I haven't checked this stuff yet. Well, I haven't checked it, but I already have like seven yellows. 
Yeah. And that definitely didn't get that last one. We had the monster level on. It's weird. It is. I know it's a random number generator, but still. <laughs> but oh, and by the way, we're making money this time. We uh, we lost money last time, or at least I did. Oh no, I did. <laughs> no. No, I did. Oh, you did. Yeah, it was just. <laughs> oh god, it was terrible. We started off with those dead. Yeah, we died so many times. We haven't died once this round. Our monster levels. Oh, the Medusa head pattern. Oh, the Medusa head pattern. We're gonna get to that guy again, I'm sure. And then no, yeah. no, no. Uh, and then we have to get to the uh, mosquito things again. Let's not speak of that. <laughs> mosquito things don't exist right now. Right now, all that exists are cultists, and that's all that will ever exist. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and as long as the shielding goes away, then we're good. Oh, there we go. No deaths is always good. This is just so boring now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't find that sweet spot. It yeah, it's either to the point where we're losing money by going, or we never die. There's no like, oh well, every other elite or every other third elite, every fourth or anything like that kills us. No, it's either they all kill us or none of them kill us. And I don't think it's us. I don't think. I don't think it's like we're not using tactics properly or anything like that. I, I just think that it's an insane amount of power levels. Because okay. oh, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna be watching this and be like, "Well, these guys are just bad." <laughs> like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> if you guys had decked out your character this way you wouldn't have any issues it is clearly always your fault oh my oh, bad here we go. that was this was the best stuff i found maybe oh, maybe i could shit. go sword and shield but probably not oh shit the butcher's lair we are here until their battle has ended oh, no i'm player. joining Screw you guys oh no the butcher oh no Let's just rehash this boss randomly without any, uh, any, like, like a little bit of warm up or anything. Um, yeah, he just kind of shows up. It's weird. Oh, look, it just instantly drops. And down he goes. <laughs> and oh, I got a new achievement for it because apparently one time, last time we did it, I stood in the fire. I don't remember standing in the fire, but I didn't do it this time. Because he died, and I think he died before my Super Saiyan even went away. That's yeah. that's not good. Let's go save uh, a homie. Now you told me that I could jump down to the bottom of these stairs. Not to the bottom of these stairs. Like diagonally. Diagonally. Like, kind of like corner. Okay. Need more time. <laughs> no, it's not ready. I know I can jump down to the bottom though. That I know I can do. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. It's so bad. I'll save you, Tyrael. Maybe. I'll save you, obviously not Tyrael. <laughs> oh, that's right. He hasn't I mean, revealed we himself yet. <laughs> I mean, I like how they're trying to make it like Angel. a huge thing where it's like, this is Tyrael. This is Tyrael. And it's just like, well, I mean, like, it was heavily implied. It was. They kept on, they, they said a few times, Angel, he could be an angel, he could be an angel. And he's the only one that really ever talked to us in the other games. Like, they might have every once in a while, but. 
that. No, I want to deal with some stuff first. But uh, really, it was only Tyrael. When they said he's an angel, you had to assume if you had played the other games. No, they said Tyrael. like this sword is like from like angelic origins. And it's, like, yeah. So it's Tyrael. <laughs> exactly. That was always the first thought. What's the most ridiculous mod you've ever seen? The most ridiculous mod I've ever oh. seen. Where do these rip? That is sure. a good question because I have seen some ridiculous off. mods. Uh, like ridiculously good or ridiculously just ridiculous? Ridiculous. Just plain ridiculous. Uh, Fallout Three with My Little Ponies. Wow. Yeah. This gate leads to our like, all the character models were changed. Apparently, it had, like, a huge following, too, that mod. But that that was it. Fallout 3 with all the My Little Ponies, the new My Little Pony show. Uh, I did see... I, I don't get it. I, I, for the record, I did watch the show. Because I got enough pressure to watch a season's worth of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic show, and at the end of oh it, oh my I god, went, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, we're, yeah, we're at the mosquitoes. Oh god, they still just absolutely destroy me if they hit me with their babies. I I watched the first season of the show. Was told it was fantastic. It, it I'll ch it'll change my mind, and at the end of it, it it didn't change my mind. I was thinking at the beginning. This is a show that uh, has ponies that is written for little girls. And at the end of it, I was thinking the same thing. It's a, it's a kid's show. 